We're here with the defending champion of the 110 huddles. Hi, Tyron. How are you? Very well, thank you. You just won your race. You ran 1350, 1362. Were you um, happy about the outcome of your race? No, no, no. I'm, I'm only happy with the standards. So I haven't hit that yet. And so tomorrow should be much better because it'll be a much faster race. But, you know, I was, I'm, I'm chasing the time. But, but I'm happy with the win. So anytime you can get a win, that's always good. But now Rio is the, is the key. And in order to get to Rio, you got to hit the standard. So we haven't seen much of you in the outdoors. Can you just fill us in? What have you been up to this season? Well, I was battling a little foot injury. Um, I, I typically don't like to say when I have an injury, and then I like to suck it up and continue to go. But that's one of the reasons why I haven't been running as much. But I've been able to rest it a good bit, and now I'm good and ready. To, I'm in shape and ready to run. The only problem is the time is the window for making the standard is short. So, so um, I heard from Grapevine sources that your manager says you're in top form. Do you feel that confident? Oh yeah, I'm 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 in the best best shape of the year, um, ready to go mentally and physically. So, like I say, tomorrow will be a much much better race. So in a situation where you don't hit the standard, what would happen? It's standard or die. So that, I I don't see a situation where I won't hit it. All right, and what's the plan for Rio then? Well, the plan for Rio is the, is like any other week, make it through the rounds, and then when we get to the finals, we'll see what happens. But if you can make it to the finals, you got a good chance of getting the medal. You are the defending champion. Last year, Nigeria had a 1-2-3, yep. you know, but this year we have only you competing right. in the 110 hurdles. Do you miss that competition, not having your teammates here? I, I miss it tremendously. Before I left to come here, I, I um, called Alex and a lot of the other guys on the team, and a lot of them told me that they wasn't coming. You know, it's kind of disappointing to me, you know, different issues, visas and, you know, so many other different issues. But, you know, it, it hurts me not to have them guys here because we push each other. And those guys were, again, second and third respectively last year. So, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's hurting that they're not here. But I got to put them on my back and uh, try to represent for Nigeria. So I see that you've been very upbeat. Looks like you're very happy to be back, you know, competing. What did you miss? Uh, I just missed just the environment. You know, I, I try to. I'm always upbeat because I can only control the things that I can control, which is coming to the meet, running, trying to win. But, you know, if you let, let these other, any off-the-track things get to you, you'll be depressed all the time. So I try to come and do my job. So all the best ahead of the finals. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, man?